Hey peeps, welcome to NAS Time. Today's video, we're gonna go through a number of uh, ideas for Christmas gifts, last minute Christmas gifts, everything from stocking fillers up to the uh, higher range uh, pricing stuff. And uh, starting with something like that, Breakaway. This is the new WD-40. Mechanics uh, have started using this and a lot of mechanics switching over to this. It's actually a great product. Good chance your uh, partner hasn't got anything like that in their car. So um, handy to have. Cyclo is a great range of products. Now, a lot of the items here are not necessarily, uh, I'm here at Dirt Road 4x4, so you don't necessarily have to uh, come here. A lot of these products are gonna be available everywhere. Of course, if you come talk to Trevor, he'll look after you a little bit better. But um, like I said, a lot of these products are, are pretty much available anywhere. So we've got a range of products here from, uh, you know, cleaning to, you know, and, and specialised cleaning. So, uh, you know, stuff that gets rid of the salt and that sort of stuff. Great Christmas ideas, uh, rather than just the standard uh, soaps, of course. Uh, Bushmans, everybody needs a can of Bushmans in the car. Again, a fantastic stocking filler and relatively cheap. And uh, we're not gonna worry too much about the oils and that sort of stuff because uh, that's a little bit more personal. And uh, here we've got some k stuff where, um, this is just an idea. There's, uh, you've got the Max Tracks mounting pins. If he's got his uh, Max Tracks or his uh, recovery tracks on top of his car or her car, have a look, of course, and uh, see how they're mounted them with, because this is probably one of the best uh, fittings that you're going to get. And uh, things like these uh, K on uh, uh, mounts for recovery points as well. So if they're kind of like me, they've made their own, and uh, you know they don't look as fantastic as these do, maybe that's a great uh, Christmas gift. Got Trevor, of course. Hey Big guys. Smile. And uh, moving here, we've got things like the, uh, these are Hulk. Now you can buy them anywhere, you can buy Bunnings, you can buy them absolutely anywhere. Get decent uh, ratchet tie down straps. Don't muck around with the cheap stuff, don't muck around with the rubbish. These ones from Hulk 4x4 are pretty good. Again, range from a different, uh, different range of prices. You can spend a lot, you can spend a little bit. And uh, what else have we got here for uh, ideas? Mounting points. Great one that I like, uh, folding shovel. Now, good chance he's probably got a shovel, but it's, you know, that's one of those that I uh, get a decent one because uh, they're pretty dodgy and they can be pretty dodgy, but I always have one of those in the car because uh, I don't like to carry my shovel all the time and uh, that's just handy to have just in case you do get, you know, in the local car park, you get a little bit bogged like they did at uh, one of these concerts uh, recently. And uh, folding saw, this one, again, hold four by four, but they're available anywhere. You can buy really good quality ones. Um, I've got, I uh, can't even think of the brand that I've got, but it's a really good quality one. But really handy to have, compact, and handy to just to keep in the car in the camping kit. And uh, things like your caravan ramps and that sort of stuff. Um, mirrors, you know, another great one. Probably spending a little bit more, but uh, little handheld uh, radio, CB radio. Get a decent brand. Oricom's a good brand, GME, another great one. Uh, Unidina are pretty decent, so look around for deals. And around this time of year, there's uh, heaps of deals going. Uh, one of these little stoves and um, lights. Lights is a great one. There's always a heap of different lights. These ones here from Ignite, but um, you can get all these great little uh, camping lights to have. A lot of them are USB and uh, you know they're just rechargeable. I pre preferably prefer the rechargeable. Nobody wants to muck around with batteries these days. Whether it's a work light for the car, great gift ideas and fantastic stocking fillers. What else have we got? We'll keep moving. Um, look, we've got fridges here now. Definitely getting up into the high uh, price bracket here. But uh, Mike Coleman's a great, great brand. You've got Waco, you've got um, Engel, another great brand. My personal choice is Mike Coleman, not just because Trevor sells them, but I've done my research and uh, they're a really good brand. Travel Buddy, absolutely fantastic if you've got Travel Buddy uh, in the car. I don't at the moment because I don't have the space for it, but I am looking at getting a new car and that's one of the first things I'll be mounting in there for sure. Um, absolutely, I tell you, if you haven't had a hot pie on a cold day out in the bush, you're missing out. Next one here, um, storage. You know, this particular range from Navigator, high-end stuff, you know, you're, you're probably paying for it, but it's really good, high-quality stuff. Um, I've got uh, a heap of 23-0 uh, storage pockets and that sort of stuff. Great um, products and handy to have around the campsite. It really just, uh, 
you know, it helps you organise everything. And uh, I've recently just picked this one up, actually, um, just for... Uh, I, actually, no, I haven't. I think uh, Santa might be giving it to you for Christmas. So um, I'm hoping anyway. Let's hope. But uh, I, I picked that up. Uh, I've got that specifically for all my camera gear. Um, I saw that off Trevor, actually, and uh, really great way to organise it. you got, you know, your kitchen buddies and all that sort of stuff. Great, um, great idea for storage. Now... Lots of uh, these little collapsible uh, units. Um, I do have a, a camp stove, uh, sorry, I do have a cooking set um, that I really like, my Prime's cooking set, and that's uh, really good. Now the silicon stuff's really good in the caravan, that sort of stuff, because it is compact. My only issue with that stuff is it doesn't go on the fire. I do have a good one that goes on the fire and on the stove, and uh, I'll link the video to that one. But cooking gear, absolute must. And have a look at him. If, if you're still, or he, she's still using the pots from the, uh, old kitchen, um, then it's worth the upgrade. You're definitely going to get a lot better quality um, and a lot more uh, use out of that. And, and they, you know, compact really nicely. Um, floor matting, you know, if you're work, walking on grass all the time and uh, something lovely to have around the caravan. Uh, portable toilet, tanks, that sort of stuff. Um, again, we've got heaps of K-On gear. That's all personal mounts and stuff. That's a little bit hard. You're not going to know what they want, so let's give that one a miss. Um, car seat covers. These ones here from Black Duck. Um, absolutely uh, great quality product. But again, you can buy car seat covers from just about uh, anywhere at a whole range of prices. But if you're going to buy car seat covers for a camper or a four-wheel driver, you definitely want to get something that's you know, heavy duty, and it's gonna repel all the uh, muck and the gunk that comes back in the car with you. Um, we've got here, this is just a Darchi range, but again, you can go anywhere and find this stuff anywhere, but a nice little camp table. We've got this one here from uh, Navigator, which are really light, which actually um, uh, folds up really nicely and uh, lifts up really nicely. I like a table that can, uh, you know, go up the work height, so if you're cooking uh, and that sort of stuff, you can set it up at the height that you like to cook at, or if you're going to sit at the table. And with camp chairs, they're often at different heights, so it's nice to get a chair that's adjustable. Um, speaking of chairs, we've got heaps of range these days. Now, again, they can be a little bit personal, um, but definitely try them before you buy them. Uh, make sure that they're, you know, super comfortable and that sort of stuff. Fire pits. These things are now becoming very popular. Why? Because a lot of, uh, especially national parks and that sort of stuff, a lot of places, probably more up north uh, as well, up in Queensland, but they're making them uh, compulsory in a lot of places as well. You know, now if you don't have a fridge and looking for a cheaper option, some like these ice boxes. Again, available anywhere, and uh, you know, they're your heavy duty. They're not your typical rescues. They last three, four days easy, and uh, they work a lot better. Uh, back in on here into Clearview, we've got uh, I've got a video on this one as well, and uh, we'll let Jared move around back. So um, I've got a video on this one. It's, it's actually a really good idea. Keeps all your kitchen gear organised, and um, it's really good quality gear. I absolutely love this kit. And uh, something like a swag, maybe um, you know, good range. Again, that could get a little bit personal, but you are spending a little bit more money. If you are going to get a swag, I highly recommend having a swag on a stretcher. Uh, this is a new one from Pack Off Road. Now, again, you're paying a little bit more from this. It's a brand new product. Good chance it doesn't have this. But essentially, this is a water tank that sits on your roof and holds your uh, recovery tracks as well. Again, if you're looking for something that you know he hasn't got or she hasn't got, that's a great idea there. Keep moving on. Again, we've got some stocking fillers. This is the Mike Coleman range. I know there's other products there like Yeti and that sort of stuff. Um, you've got your little mugs, your thermal mugs. Um, we've got over there, uh, I've also got, um, I, I missed that one from Navigator, but it's uh, a little thermos that holds, a, a little thermal thing that holds your um, cans and that sort of stuff. They're really good. Um, keeps my cans cold for a lot longer and they're fantastic. These like little bags, little tip here too. I have these bags, I like these hard case bags. I've got a, uh, can I just get... So, so, just another one here guys, I've got these, um, just telling everyone to shut up there, but I can so I can chat, but uh, I've got one of these, and I like it because it's the hard case. I use that for my uh, bread, storing bread and that sort of stuff, so um, not necessarily for cool stuff, but uh, I love it for my bread. The first aid kit, absolute must in any car, check the car, if they haven't got one, definitely look at a first aid kit. Now they generally do have ones that are specific for, for driving and camping, have a look at those. 
Um, again, we've got all the Campos gear and stuff, you know, again, coffee mugs and that sort of stuff. Massive range of uh, products there. This is a great little stocking filler, the Boss Chopper. Nice little knife. Every man in particular is going to love this one. Maybe even the women as well. And uh, again, some more camp lights. This is, again, we've got the camp lights. This is uh, a nice big one. Multi tools. I've got a couple of videos on multi tools. I've got a few uh, in my kit that I have on the kayak and the car and everywhere else. An absolute must. Tire inflators. Um, the top boss, Camp Boss Tire Deflator. This is an absolute great product. Relatively new and uh, they work really well. Now, even if they have got one, it's handy to have a couple of sets of those. So uh, don't be scared to look at one of those. Then you get into the uh, Boss Recovery Rings. Now again, you probably have to check their uh, recovery gear to see what they do and don't have. But good chance they probably don't have a good quality uh, ring to put on their car. Um, now, of course, Autofix uh, is a OBD2 scanner. Absolute must in any four-wheel drive or touring vehicle. It really is. If you're going out there and you get stuck somewhere and your engine light comes on and uh, you know, you're know you stuck in the middle of nowhere and can't get out, Guess what? This is the only thing probably that's gonna, likely that's going to get you out of trouble. An absolute must. I've done a lot of research. This is how I actually found Trevor from Dirt Road 4x4. And uh, I've actually got the 3210, which is permanently plugged into my car. And I've also got the uh, 9000, which is a little bit more high end and uh, gives you a lot more detail, especially if you're in remote travel. But uh, check out the reviews on that one. Uh, again, recovery bags and that sort of stuff. I've got a video coming out on this one, it might have already come out, but uh, everyone's got soft shackles these days and if they don't, they need them, but uh, these ones are the HDX, these are fantastic, they've got the Technora coating on them and uh, if you haven't got one, you're absolutely crazy because this thing's cut for it, or cut resistant at least, so um, definitely going to protect you. Again, on a Sabre recovery gear, check out the front of the car and if they don't have a nice pretty winch shackle, then guess what? There's uh, lots of great deals coming on that. Um, I do a couple more things I think which I missed here, and um, a great present is the Thai gear. I've got a couple of videos on these products, but these are your new age, um, you know, ropes, uh, guy ropes basically, and look at them, they're absolutely fantastic, and they uh, really compact, pack up really neatly, and organized, and uh, fantastic. You can check out my video on that one. Another great product. We've got here from uh, Dunny Buddy. This is the Dunny Roll Holder. This is, I just fell in love with this as soon as I uh, saw it and when I met the uh, family that makes these in Victoria, in um, uh, all Australia made everything. Absolutely fantastic product and the best Dunny Roll Holder I can guarantee you by far. And uh, there you go guys, it's a bit of a run through. There's some ideas there, hopefully get in there in time for Christmas and um, have a great Christmas and we'll see you for the next one. Thanks guys.